Hello Grade 12s and welcome to the Answer Series Life Sciences videos based on our study guides. In this video we look at Part 2 of Speciation, the formation of a new species. In the second video discussing formation of new species, we focus on examples of allopatric speciation due to geographic isolation as well as a brief explanation of sympatric speciation. The most common example of allopatric speciation caused by geographic isolation, in other words, as a result of a barrier, is the Galapagos finches made famous by Darwin. Darwin noticed that there were similarities and differences between the finch species on the mainland and the finch species on various islands. He noted differences in the shape and size of their beaks and how they were adapted for their particular island environments. The ocean acted as a barrier between the mainland and the islands. Darwin suggested that the ocean currents, or maybe strong winds, carried the finches from the mainland to the islands. As there were very few other bird species on the islands, there were plenty of empty niches or habitats available for the newcomer finches from the mainland. There was very little competition and very few selection pressures. Darwin suggested that the different beaks evolved over time in response to different foods available and different niches on the islands or different roles that the finches could play. We'll explain the process of speciation in the next two slides. Finches on the island were isolated from the mainland ancestral species by the ocean, which acted as a barrier in this case of geographic isolation. Finches multiplied and different mutations occurred in each population group. This resulted in different beaks suited to different foods available on the islands. So there were different selection pressures, like only particular foods available, acting on each population. This resulted in different trays being favorable in each environment. Natural selection meant that finches with favorable characteristics were selected to survive as they were better adapted to their environment. So these different adaptations led to populations becoming more different over time and more and more different from the mainland species. They eventually formed different gene pools in these populations, different gene pools to the ancestral finch from the mainland. Finches then migrated to other islands with different environments and the same process was repeated to produce more finch species. So these island finches became isolated from each other in separate populations by the geographical barrier of the ocean. Again, random different mutations occurred in the populations on each island. Natural selection ensured that finches with different beneficial traits for each environment developed independently in their particular population and kept the beneficial traits or favorable genes which caused changes in the gene pools and made the gene pools different. They became so different that the populations became reproductively isolated. In other words, they couldn't interbreed and there was no gene flow. This theory suggests that the 13 species on these islands all originated from the mainland species or the ancestor species. This illustrates the type of speciation described here, allopatric speciation that always involves a barrier. The example of the Galapagos finches also illustrates adaptive radiation because one ancestor finch species from the mainland gives rise to many different species on the islands that are adapted to different environments or different niches. For example, different beaks for different foods, beaks adapted for large or small seeds or for different size insects etc. A common ancestor species A gives rise to species B, C, D or E. This is known as adaptive radiation. Because there were many empty niches available on the isolated islands, 
Darwin suggested that different adaptations of the finches could fill these empty niches. He also believed that species change when the environment changes. And this is illustrated by this example of the Galapagos finches. Other examples of allopatric speciation showing geographic isolation and always involving a barrier include baobab trees, also known as upside down trees from Africa, Australia and Madagascar. Proteas, well known in South Africa, but they also occur in Australia and South America or the different tortoises studied by Darwin that occurred on various Galapagos Islands. Then we look at the other form of speciation known as sympatric speciation. Sim means together or same and patria means land or area or country. So this is speciation that occurs in the same area. This form of speciation is not included in the syllabus, but we have included it here as it provides context for allopatric speciation and it's often discussed in this section. So the formation of species occurs due to reproductive isolation. When a population occupies the same area, but there are no barriers. So for example, species A have some individuals with mutations that isolate them from the rest of the population. They become more and more different, although there's no barrier, but they're isolated from the rest of the population due to reproductive isolation. So there's no gene flow and eventually a new species B is formed. In this diagram, species X may have some individuals in the same area that become so different they become isolated and this reproductive isolation causes speciation to eventually form new species Y. This type of speciation that occurs in the same area but without a barrier results in the new species becoming reproductively isolated. It's rare in animals, but it's common in plants. And it can occur as a result of either polyploidy or the formation of hybrids. Polyploidy is the most common way to cause sympatric speciation in nature, where there are extra sets of chromosomes due to errors in the DNA process. So gametes could be diploid and form triploid or tetraploid individuals. Polyploid plants may be larger or have extra structures. Hybrid species are formed, on the other hand, when unrelated species like X or Y interbreed to form a new hybrid species Z. Normally hybrids are infertile, but in plants they may form fertile hybrid species. To summarize, polyploidy species have multiple sets of chromosomes. They can be 2N or 3N or 4N or 10 sets of chromosomes like in strawberries. Polyploidy is often used in agriculture to cultivate bigger, better crops, but it doesn't occur as often in nature. So there will be no crossbreeding in nature as the chromosome pairs don't match each other. Hybrid species, however, result from the breeding of unrelated species to produce fertile offspring. This speciation process is made possible by reproductive isolation and examples we know are South African pepperdews or the African cyclid fish or tilapia that are able to interbreed. Check out the video description below for practice questions from our study guides. If you found this video useful, give it a like and subscribe to our channel so you don't miss any new episodes. Follow us on Instagram or Facebook to stay on top of the latest TAS news and launches. So that's it for now from the Answer Series, your key to exam success.